Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midweek Refuel with Lupus and Color. Today we are going to talk about something that's very serious um, with anyone that has a chronic illness, but I'm going to be focusing on lupus, and that is depression and releasing feelings that can really hold you back from healing from certain issues in your lupus fight. So I was perusing the, the internet uh, earlier today and I noticed that um, someone informed me that a lupus warrior took her own life, um, that she had suffered with some depression. And I guess, you know, at that point when you decide that you're gonna do that, you are at a point where you feel there is no return. And sometimes there's no getting out of that. No one can help you out of it. No one can really take you out of it. It's something that you have to work on for yourself. Um, we definitely want to wish um, that Lupus Warriors family, um, our condolences and our prayers to deal with her passing. Um, but I really wanna to talk to you all about depression and about releasing feelings so that they don't bubble over inside of you to make you feel like there's no way out. So let's start with the post that I posted a little earlier today. So I said, and this was a real conversation. Um, they said, you know, you're going to be fine. You always are. And like I said on, on the internet, I said, yes, I will be. But please allow me those moments I need to express my sadness and discomfort. We deal with things every single day regarding lupus. From the minor pain to the major pain. From the depressive moods to the happy moods. From emotional stress to emotional relief of things that we don't have to deal with. So I really want to discuss the importance of releasing those feelings. When you're feel I, most of the stuff on on the Lupus and Color page is positive. But there is also there are also things that are very real. And to many it will be negative. Um things like the pain that we might deal with. Things like the emotional stress that we might deal with. Things like after 25, 30 years, spouses just getting up and leave because, you know, they just can't take it anymore. There are so many different things that we have to fight while we're dealing with lupus. And it's important for us to get an outlet of talking to others about how we feel or getting someone who can support us. Some of us may not have support in the home. Some of us may not have any support at your job. Some of us may not have anybody around us that can support us. And that's part of why I created Lupus in Color. So that somebody can come online at any time that they're feeling bad and maybe read something that will uplift them. Maybe read something that will let them know they're not alone. Maybe read something that prompts them to really step out on faith and ask for help. So what I want to do today is encourage you, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling down, if you've got a heavy load of sadness on you, I need you to reach out to someone that, you, that, that, that can help you. It doesn't have to be someone that you know. It doesn't have to be someone that you're used to speaking to. It could be a total stranger. But if you're feeling down and you feel like you can't get out of that alone, you need to release those emotions. You need to release those feelings. And you need to be okay with doing that. Um, sometimes it takes someone that you've never even met before. I find that online, sometimes people will support you quicker than your friends and family that see you day to day. And that's not to say that's a bad thing with them. It's just to say that they see you overcoming more than they see you down. So they might not 
they might not really take your depression or your being downtime or you know your pain very seriously that's fine there's always someone out there that can help you i never want anybody who has lupus to get to the point that they are feeling so distraught and so unloved and just so out of it that they can't talk to anybody and they decide that they're not even worthy to be living and we know you are all worthy to be living beyond lupus Lupus is not who you are. You are somebody beyond lupus. Lupus is just a condition that has you navigating your life just a different way. So if you are depressed, I need you to really reach out. I can give you numbers. I can give you names. I can give you all types of things. But you have to take the initiative to reach out to someone and release those feelings and let people know I'm not okay. We don't always have to say we're okay, especially when we're not okay. So I want you all to really think about what's your emotional state right now as you're dealing with lupus. Are you dealing with some depression? Are you dealing with some issues around releasing emotions? If you are, you have just taken an inventory as to what needs to be worked on in your lupus fight. And I want you to take a step, just one step, to reach out to someone. I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's someone you know. I don't care if it's a suicide hotline. I don't care if it's, it's, it's a psychiatrist. I want you to take the time to make a goal to reach out to someone before it gets to a point where you can't handle it. So our word for today is depression. And dealing with that depression and going to people who can help you contacting people who might be able to understand your emotional stress and releasing those feelings before they get too heavy on you that you feel that there's nowhere else to turn but to death. So I want you really to work hard on dealing with your depressive issues, dealing with your emotional statuses. It's great to be positive with lupus. You can't be positive every day. And that's understandable. You're dealing with a hard fight a very hard fight daily dealing with lupus. So it's important to release those feelings and get some help so that you can heal. Healing with lupus is not just in the cure, not just in the physical body. It's also mentally, it's also emotionally, it's spiritually. You heal every single day. We can sit and wait for the cure all day. But if we are not healing every single day, our emotional issues, our mental issues, our physical issues, our spiritual issues, we won't ever be able to get out of a funk that lupus can put us in. So today, take some time to talk to somebody if you're feeling down. If you need someone to talk to, please reach out. I'll be more than happy to speak with you today. But I want you to really deal with those depression issues and I want you to deal with your emotional stressors. If you have certain things that make you stressed in your life, let's start to remove them or let's start to minimize our time with them. Let's start to begin to use meditation in order to calm our insides and to get in contact with ourselves, to love ourselves more so that we know we are worthy beyond lupus. Let's start talking to psychiatrists. Let's start talking to therapists. Let's start talking to counselors. Let's start talking to each other online. Find a lupus buddy that you know. You can text message her or you can email her or you can call her or him and really just say, look, I just need to vent. I just need to get this off my chest. I need to know it's going to be okay and I know you're going to understand. So today at your midweek refuel, it's a little uplifting, but it's a little truth in it too. I want you to know that you are worthy. You are worthy beyond lupus. Lupus does not have you. Okay, you might have a condition called lupus, but lupus is not who you are. And I want you to believe that and understand that if you cannot get out of a funk yourself, you need some help and that's fine. So let me find a number for you all, just in case you're feeling down and you're feeling low. I'm going to find the suicide hotline. If you feel that you are at that point of no return, I want you to call this number, 
273-8255. And that's the National Suicide, Suicide Prevention Lifeline. I want you to deal with your, depressive, your depression if you have it. I want you to deal with your emotional stress if you have it. And I'm sure you do because, look, lupus is not easy to deal with. And I want you to get the help that you need. Remember, you have lupus. Lupus does not have you. This has been your midweek refuel from Lupus in Color. I hope that something that, we, that I stated here will help you.